The Romantic Garden Stuff Pack comes with quite a few awesome objects, from colourful flowers and ornate statues for your garden, to a fountain that you can sit on, play in or even prank by adding soap to it. But most importantly, the pack brings with it the Whispering Wishing Well, which I'd say is one of the best objects for gameplay in the whole game. What's more is that the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack is currently free, I believe, until January 9, 2024. So definitely go and nab yourself a free copy now. And now let's take a closer look at the Whispering Wishing Well, including what it does and how it works, because there is so much that can be done with this very interesting object. To put it simply, Sims will be able to make wishes to the well for one simoleon, with there being 9 different types of wishes that your Sims can wish for. Any Sim who is at least a child can wish for simoleons, for happiness, for youthful vigour and for skills. Child and teenager sims will also be able to wish for grades. Then sims who are teens and older can wish for romance and a promotion in their career. And additionally sims who are at least a young adult will also be able to wish for a child. Then finally ghost sims will have the option to wish for life. Each time your sim makes one of these wishes, the statue will then grant one of six different outcomes associated with that wish. This can be either a highly positive outcome where the statue will give a strong white glow, a positive outcome which displays as a green glow, a neutral outcome which shows as a faint white glow, a negative outcome which will see the statue glow orange, a highly negative outcome which displays as red, and finally most of the wishes also have a deadly outcome which is expressed through an outpour of very ominous black clouds or smoke. The chance of each of these outcomes will change depending on what mood the face sitting atop the wishing well is in. There are four different faces that the whispering wishing well can have, being either a happy face, which will give you the best chance of positive or highly positive outcomes, a neutral face, which provides a pretty even chance of things going good or bad, an angry face, which is more highly skewed in seeing a wish grant negative or highly negative outcomes, and finally a hooded face and it's only when the well's face has this hood on that you can receive a deadly outcome and also know that you'll have a very high chance of around 80% of receiving that deadly outcome if you make a wish while the well is displaying a hooded face. And so do this with caution. When you first purchase the wishing well, it'll have a neutral stance or face, and you'll notice that in addition to making a wish at the wishing well, you'll also be able to make an offering. If you offer 100 simoleons, then you'll have a small chance of making the face's mood better, but also a decent chance of displeasing the well and making the statue's mood or facial expression worse. If you offer a thousand simoleons, then from my experience it can go either way. You have a decent chance of lifting the face's mood, but there's still a decent chance that the face's mood could lower as well. Finally, you can offer 5,000 simoleons and this will have an overwhelmingly positive effect on the well, always changing the face to be its best, happiest face and giving your next wish the best chance of success. After each wish, there's a chance that the wishing well's mood will change too. From my experience, negative wish outcomes will generally see the wishing well's mood become better, and positive wish outcomes will often see the wishing well's mood become worse. So the statue kind of regulates itself. But if you want the best chance of success at having continued positive wish outcomes, then you'll need to regularly make large monetary offerings to the well. Also keep in mind that there's around an 8 hour cooldown between each wish that a sim makes. So now you might be thinking, what are some of these wish outcomes? Well, we're about to jump into it. But firstly, just a reminder that while a happy well face will greatly increase the chance of your wish going well, it won't guarantee it and you can still end up with a negative wish outcome. That's right, there will always be a little bit of risk associated with making a wish at the well. Firstly, if your sim wishes for simoleons, then the highly positive result is that you'll get a massive sum, and this can be over 20,000 simoleons. Meanwhile, the positive outcome is to get a decent amount of simoleons, which is generally a few hundred to a few thousand. Conversely, the worst, deathly outcome will see your sim lose 2,500 simoleons, and if you're on a home lot, then you'll be set on fire too, which will cause death if your sims don't put it out. From my experience, sims will avoid lighting on fire if they use a well that's located on a public space. 
If you wish for happiness, then the best result is a strong happy moodlet and your happy moodlets lasting longer for a few days. While the negative outcomes are angry or sad moodlets that suggest that they make the sims around you happy, you'll definitely want to avoid the death outcome which will give your sim a super strong playful plus 99 moodlet that will make your sim hysterical and thus have a very high chance of seeing them die from laughter. Then if you wish for youthful vigor, the overwhelmingly positive response is to reset your sim's age to the start of their current life stage, while the positive response will see a few days added to your sim's overall lifespan. On the other hand, the overwhelmingly negative response will age up your sim, though know that elders are immune to this. Finally, you will want to avoid the death response, which will transform your sim into a random ghost type, so it will literally take away your sim's life. And if you're a ghost sim, then you can wish for life. The best outcome here is that your ghost sim will be brought back to life, but that's not all. As their miracle revival moodlet suggests, your sim will now be unable to die, except for by old age and from deaths that don't spawn the Grim Reaper, like the mother plant. And this is an absolutely insane perk, potentially one of the best in the game. A significant step down but still good is that the positive response will see your sim gain an ambrosia ingredient, such as a potion of youth, a death flower or an angelfish, which can be pretty handy. On the other hand, the overwhelmingly negative response is that you won't be able to be revived for a few hours, which isn't all too bad. And on top of this, there is no death outcome when wishing for life. You know, props because you're already dead. Next, we'll look at wishing for skills. If you get the highly positive outcome, then one of your sim skills will be maxed, while a positive outcome will see you gain some experience in a random skill. On the flip side, an overwhelmingly negative outcome will make it so that your sim can't gain skills for a few hours, and the deathly outcome will see your sim gain an embarrassed plus 99 moodlet that will make your sim mortified, and thus have a chance of dying from embarrassment. Now if a child or teenager sim wishes for grades, then the highly positive outcome is to see your sim go up a school grade, while the highly negative outcome is to see your sim's grade lower by 1. Also there's no death outcome when wishing for grades, and this does make it so that making wishes for grades while the statue's face is angry or hooded is a decent way to have a chance of improving the statue's mood without having a massive negative wish outcome, as it'll most likely just lower your sim's school grades. Now wishing for romance has some fun outcomes. The highly positive outcome is that you'll summon a soulmate sim before your eyes with maximum romance and a high friendship relationship. Though I guess be warned in that this sim might not match your own sim's age or even the sex that you had in mind in some instances. Meanwhile a positive outcome could potentially be seen as the real hero, and this will see your sim gain the ultimate pickup line interaction. This can be used only once on one sim, boosting your romantic relationship with the target sim to around 50 to 60% full. At the other end of the spectrum is an overwhelmingly negative outcome, which will see you summon a sim who has maximum romance but who is also an enemy. And then the deathly outcome summons a ghost that is soulmates with and in a relationship with the sim who made the wish. So yes, it can become rather chaotic. When it comes to wishing for a promotion, the overwhelmingly positive outcome will see you gain a promotion, whereas the overwhelmingly negative outcome will see you be demoted. The death outcome here will see your sim be demoted, and on top of this gain a plus 99 angry moodlet which has a high chance of having your sim then die from cardiac arrest. And then the final wish that you can make is for a child. As you might expect, the highly positive outcome will grant your wish and give you a child, while the positive effect will give you the option to adopt a child for free, which can be done from the household and then adoption section on the computer, and this will save you 1000 simoleons. On the other hand, the highly negative outcome will see an evil child added to your household. I mean, I guess you're still getting a child, only one who will make your life much more interesting. And finally, the death outcome will see a ghost child added to your household. Keep in mind that I've highlighted the extremes and most interesting of the wish outcomes as I felt that was what was most important. But there are also additional outcomes to what I've mentioned which are more neutral. 
And with that, we're at the end. That's what you need to know about the Whispering Wishing Well and how it works in The Sims 4. If you've enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day. See you later!